Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Easy Learn, and we are going to start a new topic in the Introduction to Electronics series, and that is magnetic fields. Of course, it is related to the previous topic. That's why I added in the sequence wise and series. Uh, series means that there are the number of the topics and that are relevant that's why i manage them in the sequence wise and upload on the playlist of the youtube and uh, in the in the in the numbering of in the form of episodes okay let's start today's episode okay today's topic is magnetic fields uh, what is meant by magnetic field magnetic field is basically the region around a magnet where a ferromagnetic material fields attraction of or uh, or a deflection of the uh, compass uh, is called the magnetic field of that magnet so the region around a magnet where magnetic effects can be experienced is called the magnetic field the magnetic field is a vector quantity there are the two type of quantities of course you know the scalar quantities and the vector quantities scalar quantities like time which do not need any uh, direction they only need magnitude uh, I if I uh, explain what the time here when I'm recording the video you don't need uh, uh, any direction you can understand the time while if I'm, a, I'm I will I'm trying to explain you about my destination my place where I'm sitting right now um, I have to give you uh, uh, the, the distance also to, if you want to come here and uh, also the direction so for uh, so it is a vector quantity which needs both magnitude and direction so same is the case here the magnetic fields to explain the magnetic fields we need the magnitude and direction so it is a vector quantity suppose that this is a magnet and this is a compass here and uh, this is the north pole always shown by the red head while the south pole with the white or no color the direction of the field we are going to discuss the direction what is the direction of the field basically this is the north pole and the direction of the field is the same that is the direction of the force acting on the north pole or or due to the north pole uh, it is the same the direction of the field but the uh, issue is here i am discussing uh, about the north pole but whenever we discuss the magnet there is always south poles attached to it it is not possible that a magnet only contains a north pole as i discussed in the previous uh, episode one already then if we try to this is a north pole or south pole of the bar magnet if we try to divide this uh, the next two divide ends always makes uh, them north south separately so it is not possible that we can uh, divide uh, into a single north or a south pole so uh, this definition that i explained here the direction of the field is the same as it is the direction taken by the uh, of the force direction of the force on the north pole but the north pole okay the so north pole placed on that point but the issue i discussed to you what is the issue with this definition so for simple words another definition uh, is that the direction of the uh, compass needle uh, shows the direction of the field it is uh, the needle is free to move anywhere and the needle is magnetized and this is the north pole and south pole it is again showed in the same pattern red and white so it is free to move it it represents the uh, actually uh, the magnetic of line of the force direction so magnetic force when direction is detected we can for example if i place the compass needle here the magnetic uh, the direction is this why it is pointing outside uh, if i want to represent this needle in the form of the arrow i can uh, represent in this way the arrow head represents the north while the tail represents the south a uh, white color is represented by the tail while the red color and the north is represented by the arrow head so replacing this with our uh, conventional way or another way to represent this uh, we can represent by the arrow okay 
why this arrow is pointed towards the outside from the north if we also check this if we place the compass needle here compass here the needle also pointing outside and it shows that the magnetic field or the magnetic forces is, is toward outside the north pole from this arrowhead I always arrowhead is outside while here you can see that if I put the compass here uh, compass needle shows that uh, like this if I replace this with arrowhead it means that magnetic forces are to are toward the south pole and outside uh, to the north pole so why this is the direction because light poles always repel each other so this is the north pole and this is the north pole it is always repel force between the north pole so it is opposite direction while this north pole and this south pole attracts each other so this direction will always uh, because this is free to move so it will always take that position uh, so the where which is the attractive north pole attracts this so it will align itself in this direction and if for example we have more than one vectors of field is present in a, in a particular area so what we can do because this is a vector quantity so we can also add, uh, uh, add them in the same way as we add our basic vectors in the physics or a vector diagram and we can find the resultant vector to describe the magnetic field more easily the force vectors can be formed into continuous line these lines called line of the force line of the forces can be obtained when we uh, join all the points that are taken by the compass needle for example this is a bar oh sorry for example this is a bar magnet this is a north pole and this is a south pole if here particular point north my compass needle shows that this is the uh, direction I know I placed my compass here and it shows that uh, uh, I if I mark all the points uh, on the paper suppose that this is my sheet white paper and this is a north south a north pole and south pole of the bar magnet I place the magnet on the paper and if I tries to uh, represent a uh, re mark on the paper different points with the help of placing uh, the uh, uh, compass at different various points so this is obtained if I join all these points with the help of pencil uh, then uh, if free sketch is available and it, its accuracy depends upon how closer we take different points uh, and for example if we are take one points here and take the other point here and three third point here then of course its accuracy is not uh, is very low and if we take more points then accuracy is of course high so this is the way how we can if we join all these points this is if this makes a line and this is called the line of force because these are the magnetic force it shows the force of the field to where the direction of the force so if we join all the points it is the lines of the force not only a single way but there are multiple ways to show uh, the magnetic field lines and this is the only one uh, sorry not only the multiple ways as well but there are another one important thing i want to show you here that there is not a single line there are many lines we can i can also draw the lines here if with the help of the magnetic mark uh, it depends upon up to me how much I uh, want to accuracy how much uh, depend upon me so this is the a map of the uh, magnetic field if I want to draw the complete map this is a complete map if I want to draw this I need some tools this is the first tool I need here and that is the plotting compass and this is what I already told you in the campus this is a needle and sometimes this needle has arrowhead like uh, sorry like this and sometimes it has a tail like as you know it depends upon the different compass and what we can realize it is not a difficult to understand 
and there is a bar magnet and the process I already told you first you have to take starting point and then at the point two three four five six and then joining all the points you can understand easily uh, that uh, what is about this by joining all the points to get get the magnetic line of the forces uh, okay and this is the process of how it will deviate and it when this is a north pole and this is a south, south pole of the compass and the fo when it experiences a force these are the forces magnetic line of the forces when it passes through it it will experience a force there are the different rules that are available we will discuss in the next episode uh, it will experience a force and this force will try to change the direction of it as you know that this is this is arrowhead is towards the right it means that the north pole is here so it is pointing towards the north all the forces and the, it will tries to uh, tr mag and it will tries to uh, change its position according to the north and south compass needle align themselves in the direction of the magnetic field and this is what if this is bar magnet it will tries to align up in this way because opposite direction north will attract the south and north will attract by the south so always entering towards the south and starting from the north going into the south this is the magnetic field of the line this is one field of line and there are several and if, if these are affected by the different uh, different external fields also like if i place a here uh, here it is supposed that here is a bar magnet north south and there is another magnet and it is bring closer in parallel with the uh, another bar magnet uh, then magnetic field of uh, there are some magnet magnetic field of lines of this magnet while uh, some also uh, uh, magnetic field of lines um, of this magnet are all available like uh, so like this one as it has magnetic field of lines but when these magnets are bring closer to each other uh, they are, their magnetic field of lines are affected like you know these lines are the same these are not affected these lines which I highlight but here these lines are affected this line should be uh, like this this line should be like this if the in if uh, the other magnet is not available here but in the presence of the other magnet the magnetic line of the both magnets are disturbed and the pattern is changed by the position and by the uh, placement of the magnets if the north and south pole and here south pole north pole the second magnet that is placed in parallel is the opposite to the first magnet so that pattern is different but if i place another magnet north south north south same as the case then the pattern is different you can see that the pattern is different while if the two magnets north south uh, sorry north south pole are placed in front of each other then the magnetic field of the lines uh, are, wants to uh, adopt this easier path and this is the more force and they will try to deviate in this direction and this is north and this is south so while they are uh, trying to choose a difficult and longer path here like this towards the south and this is the weakest path also and there this is closer here so it will try to connect in this way north pole towards the directly south north to directly south north to directly south so so on these can be drawn in a multiple ways this is the first way i already explained on the with the help of the different marks and by joining all these marks on the compass needle through the compass needle on the paper we can obtain these lines another way is you can split the uh, iron fillings uh, on the sheet of the cardboard over the top of the magnet and you will find these pattern easily magnetic uh, field lines the iron fillings become magnetic dipoles by the induction and this process is already discussed in the previous episode what is the magnetic induction and this is another diagram but the change of the shape of the magnet this is a horseshoe magnet and same is the case the pattern is uh, uh, pattern can be seen uh, because these iron fillings has uh, uh, as a ferromagnetic material and it, it can align themselves and it can behave like a temporary temporary type of the of, uh, of a compass needle so it, it, it can align itself in this in this uh, pattern there is again at the end 
uh, like usual, there is a question and a tricky question. Are there any points in the magnetic fields where a small compass needle would experience zero force? Uh, and you have to give argument to suppose your answer. Suppose you give, said that no, then why no? Suppose you said yes, then why yes? So answer will be available at our Facebook page after one day of this video published. So take care. Allah Hafiz. Thank you.